welcome to At Home with Lucas. So we're gonna be talking about Starbucks's House Blend Nespresso Capsules. Yes, we're gonna do another Nespresso capsule review. In this video, we're gonna be doing a hands-on with the box. Then we're gonna take those capsules and we're gonna throw them into the Breville. We're gonna brew up a nice hot espresso shot. Then we're gonna do my favorite part of this whole shebang. We're gonna do the sip test. Yes, I absolutely love tasting new coffee. And it's because of that and you guys that I keep doing this. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy right quick. So we got the iconic Starbucks logo right chair. You have the net weight of 2.01 ounces. I do not know that. Um, I don't know what that means per... Um, I don't know what that means per capsule, but I will do the math for you and throw it up on the screen right now. Boomski. All right, so we got the House Blend Lungo. That means I will be pushing the Lungo button. Anyone who's followed this channel knows that I am dyslexic when it comes to my Breville machine. I tend to push buttons willy-nilly, and I don't make the optimal cup, but this time, I will be doing it because it says Lungo. All right, intensity level eight. That's what's up, people. We're not going too crazy, but we're not going too wimpy. All right, check the fresh by date here. Nope, here it is. Boom, we're good to go. Let's take a look at the back. All right, so the flavor notes are Coca and toffee notes. Now, I just saw that recently on something else that's very interesting. Actually, I think that's coming up in the future, just for you guys. Um, here's a little bit of backstory on this blend. This is a medium roast. Very, very cool. All right, there is the intensity level seven to nine. Boom. And this is very obviously a Lungo, 110 milliliters. All right, let's take a look at the other side. You have the iconic Starbucks logo right there. That's very cool. House blend, nice. All right, let's crack this bad boy open and see if the carpet matches the drapes. I'm gonna be very ginger with this because all the last ones were all dented. I'm gonna be very careful. All right. Ah! Holy moly, that is one of the best dents we've seen yet on this channel, people. <laughs> that is gonna have trouble in the machine for sure. See, this is a nice rounded cylinder for a reason, and that's because the Breville needs to pressurize. And that is, oh, that is so hideous. That is so gross. The funny thing is, after I bought the, the variety pack of these, I now went back to uh, my local uh, grocery store and I found the ones in the rectangle. They don't sell these sleeves anymore. So I'm not going to say my channel changed um, changed their mind, but I like to think so. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, so it says house blend on the bottom. You got a dent there. Um, so I'm just going to guess most of these are dented. Ooh, they're very slippery too, people. So watch out. Handle with care. That one's actually pretty decent. Maybe we'll use that for the sip test. All right, dents galore. You got their nice little logo there. Um, once again, you're not gonna see this from afar and go, oh, that's the house blend, I have to get it. I have to grab it. You're not gonna say, oh, that's a Starbucks capsule. Um, I think Pete's does a way better job with their capsules, but I will be, uh, I will continue Oh, it's got some good heft in there. I will continue to test all capsules that are on this planet and uh, review them for you guys. All right, so next up, we're gonna throw these bad boys into the Breville and we are gonna brew up a nice hot cup of espresso. All right, let's get into this, people. Let's put these shiny little capsules to the test. All right, let's power up the Breville. If you've never seen this machine before, I'm gonna link it down below. It is actually quite nice and fairly inexpensive. 
All right, we got the capsule in there. This is a 19 bar machine. That means that it has enough pressure to create that right there. That is a very frothy, crema-y espresso shot. This is a this is going to be a larger shot than normal. It's probably going to be about a lungo. Um, I don't know if it said that on the box or not. Lungo, I think it did. Um, but I always I always run it this way, and I probably should be I should probably should be a little bit more exact with these reviews. But look at that crema right there. That is some serious crema. Um, definitely, probably is a little bit watered down. So when the review comes in a second for the sip test, I'm probably off by just a hair. But nonetheless, this is this is a re review. This is an average consumer review. I am not by any means um, someone who is like you know trained at tasting uh, coffee. So bear in mind that's the case and. When I brew up a cup or do a review, I am simply uh, doing it as a normal consumer would do. And sometimes you may push lungo instead of espresso and on and on. But that looks like a yummy cup to me. It looks well. All right, let's go ahead and check the temperature. So you're looking for a... Um, for the optimal sip test, you want it to be between 130 and 145. So anything that's hotter than 140, really, you don't want to drink it. It's going to be a little bit too hot and the taste is going to be very minimal. So when you get it around 132, 135, you're going to notice that it tastes really, really good. All right, let's get into the sip test. So as you saw, there is a lot of crema on this espresso shot. I'm very happy about that. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah, that is very nice. Wow. It's, it's definitely thin. It has a very, like... Um, mild taste to it, um, very thin and smooth. Yeah, definitely a little bit smoky, a little bit burnt, a little bit earthy. Yeah, that is not bad at all. It's very, it's very mild. That's that's the word that comes to mind. It's very mild. It's very it's very simple. Um, the aftertaste is definitely a little bit smoky and a little bit harsh. Um, yeah. Okay. There's a that that was a little bit nutty right there. A little bit nutty of a flavor and oh, that's interesting. The flavor notes are growing on me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot more to this than, than you originally get. I would have to say it's not my most enjoyable Starbucks um, an espresso shot. I am... Um, I think these things are hit and miss. Some are really, really good and you should just stick with those. But some are just, they're just either boring or they're quite terrible. <laughs> and this one is, is, is a little bit better than boring. It's not, I wouldn't say it's boring, but it definitely has that like bitter, um, sort of smoky aftertaste that kind of makes you go, okay, that's that that's something but it's not it's not pulling me it's not gonna pull me back yeah I'm definitely gonna give this I'm gonna give it three and three quarters of a star um, I'm gonna say that you're gonna enjoy it uh, but you're not gonna be waking up to have this cup you're not gonna be excited for this shot um, now you may do this and throw in some almond milk or throw in some 
some sweetener and almond milk. Um, I don't know why I'm thinking almond milk. That seems to be what comes to mind. Um, so I would definitely say if you want to make a espresso shot and then throw in some flavoring, then that might be good for this one. Yeah, it's just, it's not going to be memorable and you're not going to, you're not going to be desiring it. Um, it's just a, it's just a decent um, espresso shot. And I think an espresso shot really needs to be something that you're, you're craving to, to enjoy because you're going to drink it by itself. So three and three quarter star, not the best, not the worst, but yeah. All right, there you go. That's Starbucks' Nespresso House Blend. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click the clank that like button. And if you want to join the at-home family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I'm almost to 1K. Yes, I just surpassed 900 subscribers and I'm on my way to 1K. And it's because of you guys, I'm still doing this. So excited, can't thank you guys enough. This is the countdown from 900 to 1K. Woo! Yes, people, it's going to be exciting. All right, as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.